Now, what will it do? I told you every bonding has a structure. So for sodium and chloride, the structure is kind of like this. Sodium ion is surrounded by chloride on all sides. Front, back, forward, left, right, up, down, everywhere. And chloride ion is surrounded by sodium ion on all sides. And that is the case. It continues like this. So sodium joined to chloride and chloride joined to sodium. And this thing is called lattice. So there is a lattice of ions. Or you can call it ionic lattice. Lattice means regular structure. So everything is in regular structure. What does it do? It makes them hard. Because it's difficult to move them around if they are fixed in their place. So one is the reason and one is the explanation or one is the effect. Similarly, there is strong attraction. So because of that strong attraction, they are high density, high melting point. So you need high energy to break the lattice, which is why it is like that. And notice there is no free electrons. Either the electron is lost to the anion or the at atom has internal electron, it has lost it. So Yavske passed Thaus and Didia or Dusin Lelia. There's no free electrons. So they are bad conductors. So that's ionic bonding. Again, just like metallic bonding, you have something that is the effect. So examiner can ask you, okay, list down the properties or outline the properties, or there is one side which gives us the reasons. Or examiner can ask you for the reasons that, okay, why is thing, this thing behaving like this? Why is ionic compound hard? Because it has an ionic lattice and ions are fixed in their place. Why do uh, ionic compounds have high density? Because they have strong force of attraction between cation and anion. Why do uh, why does solid sodium chloride not conduct electricity? Because it's a bad conductor, right? Because there is no free electrons. So again, notice that everything has either the explanation or the effect itself. And that's the important bit about it.